G'day there, welcome back. Uh, about lunchtime, pretty tidy sort of a day. Uh, we had a shower of rain last night actually, I haven't actually measured it. It'll be a uh, good, might be a mil, couple of mil in it, just in a storm. Um, so I've just been over to Deniliquin, which is about an hour, uh, hour and 15 from home to the west of where we live, uh, just to a rice meeting. Just to try and get a bit of clarif clarification or clarity on what's going on with this rice job. Uh, so, look, this sort of we're not in, we're not on our own. There's quite a, you know a few people in the room. They sort of do take questions and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few people that are in the same boat as us. Pretty disappointed. And yeah, look, there'll be guys that probably it's not worth growing. You know, 20 hectares or something like that. So. Uh, yeah, look, they're, they're, they are, I suppose, in their defence, in the rice industry's defence, they are in a bit of a predicament. Um, Australian rice is sort of, you know, they're trying to sell it into high quality markets and in turn get, you know, a, a higher price than selling low quality grain into a lower market and uh, your returns aren't as high. So, uh, yeah, so they've just... You know, over that 500,000 tonnes is what they're chasing. Anything sort of over that, it, they've got to place that those ton, that tonnage into the lower returning market. So that sort of is what it is, unfortunately. So, um, and look, they made it, it was a bit, you know, uh, they sort of said that it might only be this year. Well, it's too hard to plan for, you know, and a few per I sort of I said it when I spoke and a few of the other people that spoke said the same thing, you know, it's it's too hard to you turn around and leave country out um, for rice, you know, in twelve months time and the same thing happens or you know, we don't have a water allocation or something like that. So uh, yeah, we just yeah, I think we've sort of made the decision that that'll be the end of rice for us, which is sad um, because, and yeah, just talking to a couple other people there that I didn't know, just sort of general chat, they're a bit the same, like the, everyone enjoys growing it. Um, so anyway, we'll just uh, have to move forward. Uh, the plane is here, had him ring this morning. So you can see him there in the middle of the camera. He's doing, so he's just, I think he's just doing a bit for the neighbors at the moment. Um, and just flying, he's just flying off a local strip. Uh, so yeah, I'm nearly, yeah, obviously back at home. Uh, yeah, called in and saw the guys at um, Eagle Eye Irrigation. We're just sort of starting to get the ball rolling with pricing on, on putting an irrigator up on the new block. So uh, yeah, that's just a case of a bit of wait and see for a bit. Um, just see what they come back with. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's, uh, I've got another meeting here at home shortly so um yeah you might not see much of me today it might nearly be tomorrow so uh, brendan is here floating around he's taking chemical round of the round of the plane um but yeah it's that time of year when it's fungicide time so might get out of this bloke's road just in case he wants to do a strip down here while we're going, uh, sorry, give the lambs a drench while we're going. I haven't, uh, haven't got all of them because they're not all going to fit in the yard, so we'll, and even this mob we've got here won't fit in the yard, so we'll have to have a couple of goes at it, but while I'm, I can start and drench and Brendan can, can bring the next lot down. Um, so yeah, just 
make it a bit easier rather than trying to fight them all at once. So, uh, lambs are looking good. Agent's going to come out about lunchtime and just have a look at the what ewes are right to go. So again, sit down, you idiot. Again, we're going to take the uh, five-year-old ewes, the green tag ewes out, um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll shear the balance. So, uh, Lucy is starting to get a bit of a move on. Uh, this stuff, this stuff has had a summer spray, so it's cleaned the paddock up pretty well. Um, yeah, so plan is we'll dredge the lambs and then we'll get them onto the loose and under the irrigator uh, and try and we've actually locked some in for the end of September at eight dollars forty, which is a really good price this time of year. So you know we don't need they don't need to be super big between. Um, you know, a 20, 22 kilo dress lamb's going to come out pretty good, so we'll just uh, yeah, try and concentrate on, on getting a draft in the next next <clears throat> next month if we can. I may even, um, next week's a bit of a bugger of a week, but I may even, uh, yeah, take draft a top out and just try and con concentrate on a top perhaps, but look, they are all pretty even. Um, it's one thing with... Barry! One thing they are... Are nice and even, so if we can just yeah keep them going, it'll uh, yeah we should should make a good dollar out of them, which will be good. So uh, tiny at the back there, he's dragging the chain a little bit, but sit down. Uh, yeah, anyway, he's due for a haircut as well, so won't be shearing next week. Probably be the week after, I'd say. So um, I've got a wedding late next week, so that's gonna. The, well, I'm actually in the wedding party, so that's gonna consume a few days. So. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, Tony will be back on deck on Monday, so um, he can he can pick up the slack while I'm not here. So we've got all the lambs drenched. Uh, so we'll leave them in the yards here overnight. We ended up, we did about 1,400 roughly. Uh, I didn't didn't go back and um, grab those ones that were in the paddock there, but there won't be won't be that many left. <coughs> uh, so yeah, all went to plan. We had them finished by about lunchtime, and yeah, I had a few other jobs to do. So we've got the truck loaded with corn. Um, so yeah, I just took it to town to get it weighed. Uh, what else? So yeah, we'll give these guys tonight and I'll let them out in the paddock in the morning. So Brendan's chucked a bit of straw and that out for them. Um, we drenched them. Uh, we drenched them with, it's called tridectin, but it's got three actives in it uh, rather than just a single active. Uh, they get about nine mil. So that's the stuff there. I'm sure there's plenty of different ones. So. If you can read that, you can pronounce it. 
moxidectin, albers, something or other. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, we don't, look, we don't have, generally have too many worm issues here and as I said, this, I think it's the first time we've actually done a, a worm count, uh, which is, yeah, we probably should be doing. But yeah, as I said, the worms were only sort of mid-range anyway, so they weren't out of control um, by any stretch. So, but yeah, this time of year we drench anyway when we when we wean everything. So uh, yeah, so we've got some. We've actually locked some in to go over the hooks in oh, four months, four weeks time, four or five weeks time into September. So we've locked that price in at eight dollars fifty a kilo, which is really good for this time of year. So we'll kind of just concentrate now on the on them and, and uh, won't be next week, sorry, 10 days time we'll have a draft up and anything that's, you know, sort of not in the top of weight range will end up shearing. So uh, we've got, we're into the week now. So uh, we're not shearing next week, we'll shear the week after. Uh, so yeah, as I said, the truck's loaded with corn. Um, yeah, once I've got finished drenching them, um, I just, I was, I was filthy, so I, um, yeah, just ran the grease gun over the truck. So I'm actually heading down in a couple of days' time down to the Western Districts um, with a load of corn. So, and then I'm going to slip across um, into Geelong and pick a load of lime up. Uh, so, yeah, this, I've, uh, I've been down to where I'm going before, but I haven't, not in... Not in the truck, I've been in the Western District before, but not in the truck. And um, yeah, I haven't been in a picked a load of lime up before either. So uh, that's going to be a bit of a new one. So we'll just, yeah, it's all booked in. So hopefully, it, uh, yeah, I'll have a great pro with me. So hopefully it all goes to plan. But yeah, going to tip off, tip the corn off, hopefully Sunday afternoon. And then uh, I'll head in and camp somewhere on the Sunday night because we don't have a sleeper in the truck. So uh, yeah, it'd be a motel or a pub somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, we'll. Get, uh, get loaded hopefully early Monday morning and get back here at a good time. So, anyway, uh, yeah, all right, that'll do. Uh, end of the day, been a pretty big week um, just with everything going on. So, um, yeah, uh, no. all right, thanks again for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Ta da!